Everybody knows somebody that got their vest taken. What do you do if a 1% percent it takes your colors? We get into the reasons why and what you should do on this episode of Demons Road TV. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. the Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Chapa Sosa, I'm your host for the evening, and today we're gonna talk about if a one percenter takes your colors, what are the reasons why he would take your colors, and what do you do if you're put in that position? Now off top, give me a pound ghosting. Just to let me know everybody's alive and well. You know these roads is dangerous. I hope y'all all riding safe out there. Give me a pound ghosting. That's gonna be a thing we do every time. Just check in real quick. Pound ghosting. Let us know you safe and you straight. I wanted to talk about this topic because there's a lot of lone wolves in the comments on all these YouTube videos telling people this is America. I don't need a G pass for anything. G pass is a terminology that we use for a blessing. I don't need a blessing for anything. This is America. It's my God given right to do whatever I want. Same way it's your God given right to do whatever you want. It's your it's the person who doesn't agree with it's God given right to react to whatever it is that you do. So the reason why I bring stuff like this up is because there's a lot of young brothers that are new to the game, so they know nothing about it. If you never rode before, how do you know anything about protocol? For those that ask, like, how do you know about protocol? So this type of shit, hopefully it reaches the right people and it keeps them from getting put in situations of getting hurt because there's a lot of people on here talking, but in real life, Come on, let's talk real life here. Let's not talk this web shit. In real life, in the street, they, that shit is coming off their back in seconds. If a real diamond member comes up to you and says, listen, you gotta take that off, you gonna take it off. They're not, listen, they're not, don't let them gas you, don't believe the hype. These dudes will take their shit off and piss on themselves way quicker than you would ever imagine. So let's get into reasons why a one percenter would take your cut. Okay, so why would a one percenter take your cut? Were they just having a fucked up day and they decided to target you? Or did you start a motorcycle club and you guys took your time and picked out some patches and you wanted to throw a badass skull on it or something with some fire because that's the cliche motorcycle club shit and then you decided to just jump on the road you didn't check in with a coalition or a dominant one percent club whoever's running your state to let them know that you're out there maybe you don't know i got a video talking about it hell's angels meet the rough riders i linked that down that's one of the major reasons why a person would get their cut taken how about this one you already have your club you got the blessing, but you decide, I want to throw New York underneath my shit. Or I want to throw California, Connecticut under my shit. Because that's the state that you're in. That is going to get you hurt. Because when you do that, for people that don't know, when you put the state on the bottom, that's your way of saying, this is my state. Like, you're actually telling whatever dominant club that's around that you basically run this state. So that's what you're doing, and that will definitely, every time, get your cut taken. How about you're driving through an area where you're wearing the same colors as a certain dominant? It could be that, it could go that way. You wearing the same colors could get your vest taken, or you could be wearing enemy colors and get your vest taken. It doesn't even have to be the enemy's vest. If you come through, a black and white town and you red and black you might get caught up because they're like wait 
they probably are a support club or something. So they might just run down on you and take your cut. That is definitely a reason why a 1%er would take your colors. Supporting the wrong dominant could definitely have a 1%er take your colors. If you're in a territory where, let's say your dominant is club A and club A has problems with club B, if you're in club B territory, they're gonna take your cut. A lot of times, the supporters are the ones that get it the worst because they wanna send that message and a lot of times supporters are not, they look at supporters as, you're not really built to be in the dominant, you're just underneath. So we're gonna target them, take their cut, and then it's like a shot at the enemy. They do that a lot. That's the reason why 1% will take your cut. It can come from within too. The dominant that gave you your patch can also take your patch because they're the ones who gave you the blessing. So let's say I remember a situation in New York that happened a couple years ago where a support club, a female in the support club got her ass grabbed by one of the dominants. Now, this support club, they really had love for this girl. So they put hands on them, boom, 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 and it turned into a whole thing. Now, they jumped the dominant, and after that whole situation, the dominant kicked them out their coalition, and it was a whole big thing about it. I don't get too into details about street shit, but it winded up that that club got kicked out the coalition. Now, it can go, I've seen it ways where the dominant just takes everybody's cuts. I've seen it where the dominant takes a person's diamond. There's so many different ways that it can go down, but the person who gave you a blessing can also take your blessing away for personal issues or whatever may come up. Or if you just say, oh, I wanna leave the coalition and you leave it on your own, or you leave the support club on your own, when they see you, they're definitely gonna take your cut. Buying stuff on the web, buying your patches, and putting them on a vest yourself and getting them stitched on, that is a stupid thing to do and that will get you hurt. And I mean, as far as your back patch, like, like a club type patch, buying that stuff online, that would definitely get your cut taken if you're in the wrong circle. So I would not do that. Also, since we're talking about online, any such an anarchy, devil's ride, any fictional club stuff that would be on TV, that type of stuff, don't put that on because it could get dangerous for you. It's happened, we've seen it on the web. I got a show about that one too. It's called Sons of Anarchy's Effect on Motorcycle Clubs. I'll link that down also, check that video. That can get you hurt and that can get your colors taken, wearing stuff from online. So then you got your people that know about club life and they don't want none of the drama from the dominance claiming a state. So then they don't know enough to say, well, instead of just finding out what I'm allowed to put, like the town with the state or just the town, they decide to put nothing. And when you put nothing, if you have the wrong colors on, they're gonna think that you're a nomad of whatever club that is. And you know a nomad just roams around. There's no particular state. And that is a way that your cut will get taken because they're, then they're gonna be like, so this person's in our town and they're not even telling us where they're from. So they could be from anywhere trying to move in. And then all of a sudden they'll put the state on and try to take over the state. They're not letting that happen. If you come around with not showing where you're from, that will definitely have a one percenter take your cut. Refusing to patch over, that's something that people don't talk about very much. And there's times where a dominant will tell you, listen, this club, for whatever reason, needs to be disbanded and it needs to be patched over. Everybody needs to patch over to this club. If you refuse, your whole club is gonna get taken over or they're gonna take your colors, your, everybody's colors, so you'll be together as a group getting your colors taken, that is definitely a reason why 1%er would take your cut. Okay, so that's a nice amount of examples. Now let's talk about what you do if you get put in that situation that they do take your best. Now, first things first, if you're a Diamond Club member, 
nobody should even touch your vest. So if they take your cut, you just lost all your respect. And until you get it back, you're not getting it. Now, for 99s, riding clubs, motorcycle ministries, whoever, fe even females. I've seen some, I've seen some shit. I've seen females get stomped out with their man and all their cuts get taken. I've seen some shit. If a one percenter asks you to take off your cut, I know a lot of people on the web is gonna shake the web up and put in a frenzy and say Sosa's telling you to be dominant. Um, Sosa's telling you to be submissive to the dominant because he's in a dominant club. No, I'm always gonna keep it real on this show. You never know what that diamond club member is gonna do if you say no. Go through the proper chain of command. If a one percenter asks you to take off your cut, take the fucking cut off, give it to him, and speak to your president. If your president's not around, or if your president is there or whatever, let your president go to through the proper channels and have a sit down with that president and you get it back that way. Do not try to be tough and resist. Or, you know, you deal with what comes with it. I'm always the proponent of, if you're built like that, then you're not gonna let nobody do nothing. I respect that if you do that. I'm that type of person, and that's why I'm in a 1% club. But if you're in a 99 and you just wanna ride and have a good time, and you don't want all that, the problems and the source and all that, go through proper chain of command. Give him that vest, cause listen, people get shot, people get hurt all the time for shit like that and it's not worth it when you could just say yo here and then speak to their dominance so your your president is going to be able to reach out to their president listen don't try to be tough if you it, it can really affect your life like you can really get hurt and i do these i do this show to let people know the real so that they don't get put in these situations and learning through this channel you will learn so much that you won't even get to the point where a one percenter will even try to take your cut because you know so much you won't get put in those positions so give yourself the knowledge first so my goal share me a story that you heard of in the comments of somebody losing their vest the, a different everybody has a different story let me know a story that you heard of where somebody lost their cut the reason why I wanna share a lot of stories in the timeline. Well, I call it a timeline, but really it's comments, but I, I we turn it into a timeline. And I like that, I want it to be where we just communicate. And, and once a week, we just chop it up and talk about what we love, and that's MC culture. Now, a lot of people, have. I wanna give a big shout out to everybody who's been supporting the clothing, the Demons Row clothing. Hit that Teespring in the description, get you a Demons Row shirt. It helps us with everything we do on this channel. I want to thank you for tuning in and the support you've given. Shout to all my ghosts. Oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.